vehicle up for safety as I give you a day in the life of facilities maintenance. With a couple of mock-ups made and new plans drawn, it's now time to go into uh, prototype mode. And one of the things that I really love about working in a school like this is uh, the tools that we have at our fingertips that the kids have available to them, they're also available to, to guys like me. That's awesome, John. Thanks so much. I picked up my magnet washers, and they're called a magnet washer. Um, they're not magnetic, but they're called a magnet washer simply because they are designed to be the receiving end of a magnet. And you can see they have a countersunk hole in them. So I'm going to replace this temporary washer that I've got on here right now. And uh, once I do that, then I'll be able to establish an exact distance for the magnetic piece that screws up in in under the arm of the chair let me show you what I mean okay happy with that 45 to the base of the magnet with my magnet washer in between and I'm happy with that relationship that's nice and flat so it's making good contact 45 I've changed that to 45, and I've marked my new uh, my new hole location for the washer magnet, and it is so close. Get that to focus. It's so close to the other one that uh, I don't think I'm going to drill a new hole uh, for this one. I'll measure this, and this is the distance that I will use for the other 79 uh, but for this one I think what I will do is just fill the hole with epoxy and install this this one right here it's, it's too small right now I'm making good progress I started with a ceramic earth magnet like this just to uh, kind of get my concept into something uh, workable that I can get my hands on. And I discovered that it'll work, but I hadn't proved it yet. So I went to a neodymium magnet, this sliver magnet here that was salvaged out of this hard drive, and that allowed me to prove my concept. Um, it worked. So once I knew that it worked, then I was confident to order the actual magnets that I will be using for the application, which are these round disc magnets, which uh, will insert and screw into place on the uh, 3d printed um, magnet clips that I'm uh, that I'm making uh, I've drawn this up and uh, John has been so kind as to create a CAD drawing of it which we can send to the 3d printer and uh, I'll print up a prototype and go from there so if I'm honest, I'm pretty excited. Uh, Eric is running the 3D printer over in the design lab and um, printing the first prototype part to, uh, to replace this little wooden part right here uh, that is working perfectly, by the way. It actually works very well. So I'm very pleased with that, which is why I've now proceeded on to the next step. It's been about an hour, so I thought I'd check on our progress. Looks like we're about halfway there. In fact, why don't I close out this video by saying thank you so much for watching, and for those of you who may be interested, I'll let you watch the whole printing process of my first prototype in hyperlapse mode.